Every morning for nearly seven decades, Azim Tuman has looked out over Nagin Lake, an Indian-controlled Kashmir. He and his family operate houseboats and cater to tourists from around the world. My family has been one of the pioneers among the four families who started tourism here. We have a record from 1880. These delicately carved houseboats have been moored along the tranquil waters of Dal Lake and Nagin Lake of Srinagar since British colonial days. The boat business fell off in recent years because of the conflict between India and Pakistan over control of Kashmir. These 19 years have broken our back. Now there's relative peace along the lakes and tourists are starting to return. Still houseboat operators say their livelihood is threatened. Sewage for more than a million people dumps directly into the lakes and springs that feed them are blocked by trash and human waste. In the last three decades, the lakes have shrunk to less than half their original size. India's central government has pumped tens of millions of dollars to have the lakes cleaned. Most of the money was spent on dredging equipment, but Tuman and others who live on the lakes say these machines rarely work and have not helped with the pollution problem. Houseboats also contribute to the lake's pollution, and the development authority says they should install small sewage systems. Azim Tuman's son, Yasin, agrees, but he says some boat owners can't afford it. Yasin and his father disagree on the future of the houseboat industry. My calculation for the houseboat industry it is for another 25 years. His son is more hopeful. The future of the industry is very much connected to the future of the lakes. The more we get our lakes cleaner and, you know, for we leave them secure for the future generation, the future of the houseboats is good. If this does not happen, these once pristine lakes and way of life will be lost forever. Rebecca Barley for Voice of America, Indian-controlled Kashmir.